So let me ask you something. Are you using all the Gmail features to your advantage? Most small businesses owners use a small percentage of the actual features that are available. By knowing the best Gmail tips and tricks, you could process your email messages faster and still deal with each message properly. Hi, I'm Sergio Sala and welcome to Envirotalk Plus. In this video, I rounded out the best Gmail tips and tricks so you can start using them right away and add some new strategies to your email workflow. But before I reveal the Google secrets, here's something many professionals use to save time. You can get unlimited downloads of easy to use Microsoft Word templates, resume templates, presentation templates, photos, and more with Envato Elements. With an Envato Elements subscription, you have access to millions of created digital assets. You can subscribe now with the link in the description. So let's learn how to use Gmail tips and tricks. You can easily preview your emails with the reading pane and customize it to preview your emails to the side or the bottom of your viewing area. Just go to the inbox setting and then scroll down until you find the option of reading pane. You can click on right of inbox so you can find the messages on the right or there's an option of below. So just choose which one you like the best. So do you need to find a message from a specific sender that it was sent after a certain date? Well, no problem because search operators can help you find exactly what you need. So I'm gonna give you an example using the search operators. Let's try to find something that hasn't been read. So we write in on read, and then we ask from who was sent from. So I write from Embaro, and then what was the date? So I choose write after, and then let's say the year plus the day plus the month. And in that way, you're gonna find all the emails there were just sent in a specific time from a specific sender that hasn't been read. Are you tired of answering the same questions over and over through email? Well, Gmail has a solution to this problem with the templates feature. So just go to your inbox settings, find the see all settings, and then check the advanced tab and scroll down until you find the option that says template. Just click on enable and now save changes. And let's try to compose an email. So let's say I have this email written already. I'm just gonna go to the three dots down there and then it says templates and then you're gonna create a new template. Click on save draft as template, write the name of the template and then click on save. And now on the three dots, you're gonna have the template saved and you can use it to save time wherever you wanna write a new email. Have you ever forgotten to reply to an email you probably all have at least once. So try using notches. You will get a reminder at the top of your inbox if a message lacks a reply for extended amount of time. They either follow up or just ignore the notification. Just go to the inbox settings on the general tab and scroll down until you find the option that says notches. And make sure that you have click on suggest email to reply to and suggest email to follow up on. If you need to send an email tomorrow, but you already written it today, you can easily schedule it in Gmail. When composing your message, before clicking send, just click on the upwards arrow before sending and find the schedule send. From there, you can choose a future day and time for your email. So you can do tomorrow afternoon, morning, morning, just pick a date, any date that you want, just click on the date and even you can change the time precisely, let's say at 3 p.m. Now you don't have to worry because Gmail will already set your email to be sent at the precise time. There's no need to log in into any platform other than Gmail to get your messages. Just go to the settings, see all settings, and then go to the accounts and import tab and find the option that says check email for other accounts. On here, just write the email that you want to use too, and then click on the next button to follow the next steps. Gmail gives you the ability to give someone else access to your account. Just go to the inbox setting and then see all settings, and in the accounts and import tab, just find the option that says grant access to your account. Just make sure to check the leave conversation on red when opened by others to see which messages you haven't personally read. And then click on add another account so you can write the email of the person who's gonna have access to your Gmail account. And there you have it. Power user Gmail secrets don't need to be beyond your reach. You too can save time on your small business with these helpful Gmail tips and tricks. Remember, you can subscribe to Embattle Elements to access millions of creative digital assets, including everything you've seen, and thousands of video courses and tutorials on Embattle Talk Plus. Subscribe now with the link in the description down below. Thanks for watching, I'm Sergio Sala, and don't leave this video without checking the Embattle Talk Plus channel and subscribe to learn more about Gmail productivity. Ciao!